Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Today, I am doing an unhaul video where I'm getting rid of some of my coloring books. Um, I was going through them the other day. My husband bought some books, I mean, some boxes actually from storage, and I was super excited to find some of my coloring books. So, but there are also some that I thought I would go ahead and get rid of. So this one is easy to draw mandalas. And I thought it was gonna be more of a step-by-step -step instruction book, but um, I mean, it has like right here, one, two, three, four, but I thought I was gonna kind of show you more like here, first draw here. I, thought, I just thought it was gonna be different and I was keeping it for the ideas right here, at least that I had some ideas, but I'm, I'm not into drawing mandalas right now. I, I, I was when I got this book, I wanted to learn how to draw some of them, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it for now. And then this book, I didn't really care for it as much as I thought I would. I just didn't like, I mean, some of them I like like that one, but I just don't see myself really coloring in it. So I thought I would just go ahead and give it away. I did color a few pages, so yeah. It's pretty, but I just don't see myself really coloring in it again. And then I got this at Half Price Books. And although I really like it, I love how the bottom right here, it tells you what the flower is. And like this one says, detail of block print about 1765 through 75 England. I like that, but I, I just don't see myself actually coloring in it. I think these are beautiful though, but I, I also have a lot of coloring books with flowers. Like, look at this, isn't this gorgeous? And I don't know, I just don't see myself picking this one up and coloring it. So yeah, this one's kind of hard to get rid of because I do think the flowers are gorgeous and I just love the little notes on the bottom. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And then this one I got from Book Outlet, but I don't really see myself coloring in it. I mean, they're cute, but I don't know. They're just not really my style. So I am going to get rid of this one. I held on to it for a little while because I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe it'll grow on me, but it hasn't yet. I haven't had it that long, but yeah. And then this one from Created Haven, Midnight Garden. I got this one on Amazon. And I really like the background, how it's black and the flowers are beautiful. I don't know, I just don't, I just don't see myself picking it up and using it. Um, maybe for one or two, but I want to have a coloring book where I would want to color more than one or two pages in it. So, although very beautiful, like I like this one. That one's nice. I love this one. But, um, yeah, I would, there's a lot of them I, I don't see myself coloring, so. I will unhaul that one. And then this one I got from Book Outlet, Wild Wonders. And this one says, create a lush oasis in the desert. And I like how it has a little tidbit right there. Like this one's on Africa. So, but I'm just not into adding things. Like draw more darting dragonflies. Create a scene of lush green cacti in the dry, dusty desert and a flash of bright colors on the flowers. So yeah, I just don't see myself actually, oh, this is cute, um, doing all the art work. I think if anything, I would use 
uh, Joanna Bassford's 30 Days of Creativity and the other one she has. But yeah, I just don't see myself using this book. And then this one I got, this was from Usborne Books actually, I believe. Um, oh yeah, it's right there in the middle. I got this on Book Outlet as well. But I'm just not loving all the mandalas. I mean, I like them, but I have a lot of mandala books that I like better. So, or I like more. So, although this is a nice one, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and give it away. And then I also got this one from Book Outlet. This one's an Usborne. I got these ones because they're Usborne and, and the Usborne books are really nice. But I just don't see myself actually using it. So right here it says these colors will give a cool, calm effect. These will look bold and dramatic or create new color combinations. So I kind of got this, well I did get this one because it had patterns of color and I thought it would you know, help me with color because I have a hard time with color combinations. Almost all my color combinations are from somebody else. There's a few that I actually did I'm really proud of, but so like this one, you could see what this pattern looks like in primary colors. So I just thought it was neat, but I just don't see myself taking the time to actually use it. I liked it because it had like these palettes right here. So yeah, I'm sure someone else can enjoy that. And then this book, I like this book, but um, I just have a lot of others. Actually, this is one of my first books. Um, yeah, can you see my my first coloring? I think I did this in, I don't know how long ago. Um, but this one is, has you, and see I wasn't very, I'm not very creative, <clears throat> although I could have copied that one. So I ended up writing words. So yeah, some of my first colorings. And this one was fun. I did, um, you know, this on this side. I haven't finished that ear. But I don't see myself really using it. Using all, there's a lot of pages in here. And I like if it has you copy the patterns on the other side. Which is a great idea. Like this. But yeah, I just don't, I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it away. But I do like the idea. I love that, you know, you could copy this on the side and practice some, some doodling and drawing skills. But this is neat. But I think someone else will enjoy it more. I've had it for a long time. Um, so yeah, I think I've had it for, I don't know, maybe three years. And I haven't done much with it. And I got a lot of other books now, so. And then this one, coloring book, a fun, relaxing way to, way to unwind. Today is going to be a great day. Anti-stress therapy and biblical inspiration. I got this one at christianbooks.com. And I like it. But I have a lot of other books that have this kind of stuff in it. But I do like the illustrations. There's, oh, I like that one. But there are some like this that I don't really care for. Like, I like that one. Uh-oh, I'm really liking this one again. But I think I am going to get rid of it. Oh, look at that. There were just a lot of patterns that I didn't like. Like that, this one, this one. The owl is so cute. This one. See, there's a lot. This one. I don't really care for all of those. This one. That one. There's just too many that I don't like. But then there's a lot that I do. But I just don't... I just don't see myself picking this book up. Ooh, look at that. As much as I would... Like I said, I want to keep the books that I think I will color more pages in, even though probably not all the pages in every coloring book, of course, but 
So this one I see more, I don't know, does that make sense? I just don't see as many pages being colored in this book. So I think someone else will enjoy it. And then my last book is this one. This is another Usborne book. I actually bought this one from Usborne from an Usborne party a few years ago. Oh yeah, and in 2018. And I, I wanted to, to do more doodling and such, like I did all of this. But there's a lot of pages I haven't done. And I don't see myself. I tried picking it up, but I never really... I'm just not very creative. So I've done some of like these arrows. And like I just can't even think of what kind of patterns to put on here. Oh, I did have fun with the spider one. Um, then I just colored like that one little cloud. Look at these snowmen. So it's a neat book. It's really big too. But I just don't pick it up enough. I think I just want to stick with the Joanna books and then maybe a few others that I have. Um, so yeah, like right here, I just did a few of these guys. These are the original ones. Oh yeah, I did this one with my left hand. Whoops, sorry. I was trying to do like a left hand thing because it's supposed to work in another part of your brain or something like that. So I like this one, but I just don't pick it up enough to keep it. So I'm going to see I did a little bit of tracing here. Fill, this fill in this crazy machine. I just don't have the um, imagination, I guess, to fill these in. I probably should, huh, to get practice. So yeah, so this is my last one that I have. So do you have any coloring books, doodling books that you have that you are unhauling? Um, if so, let me know in the comments and if you have a link to a social media, um, feel free to put that in there too. And remember to live a life filled with color. It's so much prettier that way. Y'all have a great day and until next time, bye.